Watch you guys, got another video here for you. Microsoft update warning to Windows 11 users that are using 23H2. If you are on a version of Windows 11 that is running 23H2, now is the time to start thinking about upgrading your version of Windows. Why should you upgrade to the next version of Windows 11? The reason why is because 23H2 is reaching end of life. In November, your version of Windows will not be supported anymore and you will not receive any updates for that version of Windows. So if we look at the system settings here, if you are on a version of Windows 11, you might want to check just to make sure what version you're on. You can see this version is Windows 11 Pro 23 H2, which means in November, this version will cease to receive any updates whatsoever. Now, I understand that 23H2 has probably been one of the best releases for Windows 11 that Microsoft have released. It's been very uh, trouble-free for a lot of people. A lot of people have not had a lot of issues with 23H2. But as you can see here, this tells you exactly when Windows 11 23H2 for desktop PCs and home PCs ends. And it ends in one month and three weeks, which is 11th of November 2025. Once you reach that date, you will not receive any more updates for that version of Windows. There is no extended security updates for this version. You will get no more security updates, no more feature updates, nothing. Now, a lot of people might be thinking it might be wise to continue to use it, but it's not wise to use that version of Windows once it sees support from Microsoft. You can see 24H2 has one more year. Uh, and it has up until October 13th, 2026. So basically, on 24H2 version, if you upgrade to that version, you have one more year if you want to stay on that version. In October, hopefully, 25H2 will be released to the general public. Microsoft have now made that ISO available on the Windows Insider program, so it could be released very, very soon to the general public. Now, I've heard from Microsoft and read that the code for Windows 11 24H2 and 25H2 is exactly the same. So it's quite easy to roll out updates for that. I don't think you can skip 24H2 and go to 25H2 using the Windows update method because I don't think it will be available to you via that method. So you might need to go to 24H2 first. Now, if you have any policies in place in Group Policy Editor or the registry or any other type of policy that's been set by a program to stop feature updates being updated on your version of Windows, you will need to remove this first before you can update. Otherwise, you're just simply not going to be able to update to that version. Now, for people that are on Windows 11 23H2, some people have complained that they don't get the offer to go to 24H2 after they've frozen uh, the feature updates. And if that is the case, you might need to manually update, and I'll show you that in a second. But first off, if you do have any registry edits, if you're on Windows 11 Home and you've put a policy in place inside the registry to stop feature updates, then you will need to also remove that or reverse it to stop that from blocking the feature updates. Now, a lot of people obviously don't want to go to 24H2 because of the problems that's been happening with Windows 11 24H2 version. Some people have had no issues whatsoever with 24H2, and yet some people have been plagued with issues non-stop on that version of Windows. I was one of those people that had a lot of issues with 24H2, and it forced me to even go back to Windows 10 for a period just because I needed a PC to work properly without any downtime. So you can see here, we're fully updated here right now on 23H2. And you can see we're not being offered the 24H2 version. And sometimes this can happen when you've paused feature updates. It might take a while for this to come through. And unfortunately, uh, sometimes that you might need to force the update via using different methods. And I'll show you how to do that now if you're in this situation where you've done all the updates and there's no offer for 24H2 and you are on 23H2. So you can see we're still on 23H2 right here. And gone are the days where you can stay on a version of Windows and just continue to update Windows and stay on it. Microsoft now 
uh, have end of life for each build that they release. So you won't be able to stay on 23H2 any longer because it won't receive any updates. Now you can do a search on the Microsoft Update catalog for 24H2, but there is a heap of them on here and you might find it a bit difficult to find the one you want. So you might want to go over to the Windows 11 website here and you can see it says the current build is 24H2. Now, this will soon be replaced with 25H2 and they will not let you download the 24H2 version. But you can download the Windows 11 installation assistant and you can run this on your PC. It will ask you to do a health check on your PC to make sure you are using a version of Windows that is compatible uh, with Windows 11. If it's not, then it's not going to let you use this method and you will need to use the manual method to update your version of Windows because obviously it's not going to be compatible and it won't let you update. So if you run in the health check tool here, I'll quickly show you, we can quickly install the health check tool here to do a check. This PC is eligible to be upgraded or updated to the next version. I can quickly do check now. Once we've done this and it says the PC meets the Windows 11 requirements, it will allow me to use the assistant to update to the next version. So let me just close this off here and we can refresh and you should now see this here. And now it's telling us that we can install this version on our PC. So we need to accept and install and this will go ahead and install the next version, which is 24H2. So we'll be going from 23H2 to 24H2 using the assistant method. Now, of course, like I said, if you are on unsupported hardware, you will need to do a search and you can go over to the catalog. Let me just quickly show you this so you can see. Rather than do a search for 24H2 here, you might be able to do a search for this file right here, which I'll do a search right here because there's quite a few of them to look through and you might find it a bit daunting. So look for this file right here, KB, and then do 504. And then we need to put in the next number, which is 6740, uh, and then put that in here and then push search. And you should see two uh, files right here. Now, the one you're interested in is the X64, which is the top one here. Make sure it's not the ARM64. X64, click on this and you'll be able to download this and install it. But we're going to use the assistant method because we have got a legitimate PC here. So I'll speed that process up. And once you restart the PC, uh, the installation for this update will happen. Now, of course, all your data will be saved and all the applications will be saved. It's just a, a normal update with a, a feature update involved in it. So that's why it's going to take a bit of time. But once you get back to the desktop here, we can now go to our settings right here and we can now go to system and then go to about and you'll see that we should now be on 24H2 right here. There we go. And you can just run the updates now to update to the latest versions of security updates for 24H2. You should have them already installed here. You can see all the data is still on the system and we did have that program installed like PC Health Check and you can see that is still on the system. So it's not removed any applications either. So we know it doesn't remove any of that stuff. So if you're on 23H2, maybe make a plan within the next week or two to start rolling out this update. Unfortunately, you are going to have to do it whether you like it or not, or you're not going to receive any security updates. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server. Links in the video description. Bye for now.